What is up guys, my name is Asteroid and welcome to something completely different that I've never done on the channel before, literally this has never been done in the history of Asteroid Mania videos and I'm already sweating and we're not even like 3 seconds and I barely got out of the intro. Anyways though, that being said, here we are for another episode of guess what, not Pokemon Y and uh, it feels crazy to say that because literally I've been uploading Pokemon Y pretty much non-stop. Uh, ever since it started because I just haven't had time to really record or post anything else So today we're gonna be taking a quick break All right from Pokemon Y to mix things up do something a little bit different and have some fun here If you guys enjoy these types of videos make sure to go ahead Let me know hit that like button down below because I would love to continue doing this type of stuff um, I really enjoy TCG and I think this will be a lot of fun, but that being said today we're gonna be opening up not one but that being said, today we're going to be opening up not one, not two, but three things of Pokemon cards. Now, if you guys don't know, if you guys aren't aware, I am not a very huge TCG fan at all. Uh, I do have a little bit of a collection in my closet that has some pretty rare cards, not even going to lie. But for the most part, I have not been keeping up with any of the new TCG. I don't play the card game. I rarely collect anymore. These are my first Pokemon cards I've bought in probably about a year or so so I am totally out of it so I'm really sorry if I don't know much about the card game and that's kind of why I've avoided TCG stuff in the first place is because I'm just not good at it I don't know anything about these cards like I could get some crazy rare card and not even realize it you know what I'm saying I want to get back into it and if you guys enjoy it I would love to keep on doing these videos but for the most part here what I did was I went to the mall this weekend I had a $25 GameStop gift card and I literally picked up as many cards as I could for 25 bucks and I really 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 wanted to pick up this one especially because I saw that Mimikyu pin and you guys know Mimikyu is my favorite Pokemon so I could not pass this up now from my understanding from what I got on Twitter um, we have two Sun and Moon packs here from that like series of Pokemon cards and then we have the Guardian Rising booster pack here as well if I can hold that up to the camera it's so weird doing these double camera setup things but that being said without further ado we're gonna start with the Guardian Rising pack because why not it's the newest we might as well give that a shot and also in case you guys are wondering yes this t-shirt right here is the 10k t-shirt design I got uh, actually both designs and if you guys weren't aware there's a text version and there's a no text version obviously this version is the non text text version. I'll go more in depth about all these t-shirt designs and uh, when they'll be on sale uh, in a very, 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 very soon to come video. So look out for that. I'm very, very excited to release this t-shirt out to you guys. Let me know if you guys like it down below in the comment section. But with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and start opening this thing up. Now, I was told on Twitter that there's a very specific way you're supposed to like shuffle the cards uh, in order to actually open these things up. I had heard there was a specific way to do it, but I wasn't quite sure how. And I was told that you have to take like the four, the four cards on the bottom and you shuffle them to the front. So I'm gonna do that and see if it works out. I think that should theoretically put the rare card uh, towards the end and then like the foil card or oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> I think that should theoretically put the rare card towards the end and then the foil uh, slash reverse hollow cards like second to last or something like that. You guys are got to teach me a lot about this type of stuff because I'm totally, totally oblivious. Oh, I saw the first card. Ah, I soiled it! I soiled it! I soiled it! Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try to open this without looking at any more cards. Alright, yo, look at that Tapu Coco! Look how clean that is! Well, it's not too clean anymore, but you know, you know, you guys get me. If you guys want this code for yourselves, I don't personally play the TCGO. Uh, so there you go. First come, first serve. Good luck, my dudes. Alright, so we're gonna take the first four cards off the top and put them at the bottom? Is that how you do it? I think that's how you do it. All right. So anyways, we have a fighting energy there. We have a multi-switch movement energy from one of your benched Pokemon to your active party. I'm not sure if you guys can really see the text. I'm really sorry about that. I'm actually using the old webcam that I used to use for this bottom down view. I'll try and move it up a little bit. We have Sableye. I love Sableye. Mega Sableye is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It has Limitation and Scratch. We have Flachinder, which is looking pretty dope. I'm loving that art, dude. Look at how clean my boy Flachinder is. We have Sandshrew, which was the Pokemon I saw, the Alola Sandshrew. Uh, there's no way that's gonna focus, but you guys can kind of see that a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of clean, kind of clean. We have Murkrow over here as well with Whirlwind. That's pretty dope. We have Helioptile, my favorite 6th gen Pokemon. Yeah, these card, this card art is looking sick, not even gonna lie. Machop, for some reason that reminds me of like a really old Machop card. 
It seems like all Machop cards look the same. Am I the only one who thinks that? We have the Slowpoke, which is looking pretty clean as well. We have the Hollow Oricorio. Is that Reverse Hollow or Hollow? That's one thing that I don't know. Um, I don't know how to tell the difference between Hollow or Reverse Hollow, but it looks really clean. It's shining. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle the deck. All right, here's the rare. Here's the rare. What should be the rare. And it's a Trevenant. Yo, that's really clean. Yo, what does it even say? Pol Poltergeist? Poltergeist? Yo, that art is insane. Look at this, my dudes. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, it looks so much cleaner on this webcam. But there we go. That's the first pack. That's the newest pack, the Guardian Rising pack. I I'm liking it, all right? I don't know exactly how rare any of these cards really are, to be honest. But honestly, though, honestly, though, just the fact that we got my boy Trevenant and Pokemon like Helioptile in the box, I'm down for it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the Sun and Moon Primaria dope looking booster pack real quick. So it looks like we had Primaria on the front here, but then we have Decidueye. Uh, chilling on the actual booster pack. Yo, look at this man. Look at him. Dude, I love this Decidueye. He is by far probably one of my favorite starters. Honestly, probably one of my top three. Top three favorite starter Pokemon of all time. I just love him, man. Honestly, honestly, I gotta play Sun and Moon some more because after our Let's Play, uh, which shameless plug, if you guys didn't see our Moon Let's Play, I would highly recommend it. Um, after the Moon LP, I really didn't play much sun and moon at all like outside of wi-fi and shiny hunting um why can't i open this <laughs> i've basically been afk from the entire pokemon uh sun and moon scene and it really makes me sad because like i don't know it's such a fun game as of right now it is my favorite generation and i was actually playing pokemon sun off to the side but i just never actually uh, finished it. I don't know. I guess I was just busy with school and stuff, but here we go Here's another code if you guys want to steal that from me uh, Go ahead. You guys can enter that get these cards for yourselves uh, We're gonna take the first four is what I was told and I, it seemed to have worked in the previous booster pack So we're gonna go off of that. So starting off we have a fighting energy once again We have a Pelipper shout out to Pelipper and my boy Drizzle uh, in, in Sun and Moon. That's really clean. With the Pokeball item, uh, flip a coin of head, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Yo, I'm looking, I'm looking down here. Some, something's shining. Something is shining. Why won't my webcam focus? Come on now. Come on now. I'm sorry if the focus has been bad all video. Oh god, I hope it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, we have the Pokeball there. We have Hypno. Yo, that is so creepy. He's in Alola. He's in Alola. He's looking so creepy. Lily Pup. All right, that's clean. Bounce Sweet. That's really clean as well. I love my boy Bounce Sweet. Uh, do play to do. Shout out to Asteroids Pimple, uh, who was actually our second. Yeah, I think it was our second ever shiny in Sunday Moon in terms of shiny hunting. We have Marini. Yo, look at how eerie he looks. I love him. We have Stuffle. Yo, screw you, Stuffle. We're still hunting for Stuffle. We might actually get him tonight. I'm going to be shiny hunting tonight, uh, which the stream would have already passed after you guys are seeing this video, but if you guys do want to go back, check it out. It's always up on the channel for your viewing pleasure. Hopefully we get Stuffle tonight because I need this shiny Stuffle in my life. Uh, we have a Metal Pod. Yo! As our reverse, is that reverse foil? Or is that hollow? I don't know. I don't know, but look at this. Look at how clean. Look at how clean. Metal Pod. Shout out to the Soul Link. Come on, my dudes. Come on. Wow, that's not focused. Okay, there we go. The camera is good. Now, I saw something shiny over here, so I'm really... <gasps> Bro! Wait, that's gotta be rare. That's gotta be rare. It's a full art. It's a full art. Bro, wait. How rare is that? How rare is that? Tell me. Professor Kukui, look at him. Hold up. Hold up. That has to be rare. That had... There's no way. It's full art. That has to be rare. Oh god, I, I feel like such a noob right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, please don't roast me too hard in the comments. But damn, look at his abs. <laughs> look at those abs. Okay, hang on. Draw two cards. During this turn, your Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon uh, before applying weakness and resistance. Bro, it, that is... I knew I saw... I saw the bottom edge. It was shining like crazy. Dude... Okay, this has to be rare. Let me know. Let me know because I I that has to be rare. There's no way. There's no way that isn't rare. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this thing off to the side because I that has to be. All right, I 
you know what, we're gonna put the Metapod there as well, because Metapod, Metapod deserves the limelight, uh, the limelight? I don't know, he deserves to be on stage, he's performing, he's a, he's a, he's a star. Alright, so we're gonna open up this Mimikyu box next, now there are a few booster packs in here as well, so we should, and this is on should, be able to get some more, more great cards, hopefully, hopefully, but I kind of want to actually pick up, um, like one of those big boxes with like, 50 booster uh, booster packs. It'd be really cool to open up one of those in a video because I think I think that's what most people do, right? They just buy like a lot of booster packs and um, they just kind of go from there. All right, we're gonna throw the box off to the side. Look, oh wait, hold up, hold up. There's a little 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 sleeve here. Look at this pin, yo. I'm just throwing all this crap on my bed real quick. But look at this pin. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Let's try and get the camera to focus here, bro. That that is my boy. That is my boy Mimikyu. Ah. There we go. Oh! Oh, look at how clean! Look at how clean, my boy! My boy! I love Mimikyu. You guys don't even know how much I love Mimikyu. We're gonna set him right there next to the Manetric, next to the Kukui. Alright, but here's the Mimikyu card that goes with it. It does have a little bit of a shine to it, as you guys can see there. And uh, it looks nice! It looks nice. It has Haunt and Astonish. I really like that art. It looks very spoopy. Alright, I'm feeling that. I really, really am. So we have a Fates Collide, and then we have two Sun and Moon packs here. Fates Collide must be an older series because it has the X and Y logos on there. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's grab these booster packs, and then we'll go ahead, open them up. But we do have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a card here, so if you guys do want to steal that, go ahead. I really don't mind. First come, first serve. Alright. So here we have the Primaria one. Let's open this up. We're gonna once again do the do the do the four thing. Uh, here's the code. If you guys want to grab it? There you go. First come, first serve. All right. One, two, three, four. Nice and clean. Starting off. So it seems like when you do that trick, uh, trick I should say. I, don't, I guess it's a trick. I don't know. When you do that shuffle, right? When you do that shuffle, it always puts the energy first, which is actually kind of cool. Now when it comes to the fates, uh, not this one. When it comes to the fates collide. Uh, we might have to do a little bit of a different shuffle, I think it's three cards, because somebody said after Sun and Moon they added an extra card into these packs, so Fates Collide might be a little bit different, we might have to mix it up a little bit, but, without further ado, get out of your stupid packaging, first up we have the Electric Energy, we have the Golbat, we have the Pokemon Catcher, we have the, uh, Pessimian, yo, look at that, look at that, can, can you focus? Can you focus? Kinda? Kinda? Uh, Alright, this looking pretty clean. We have the Sandile. We have the Crab Brawler. Oh! Oh! This man is in Alola. I like how like 90% of these Pokemon are on beaches. Like, look at that. Everyone's on a beach! Everyone's on a beach! Oh, uh, we have Grubbin. Look at my boy. The first shiny ever got in Sun and Moon. He's looking pretty clean right here. We have Firo. Shout out to Sky, I think was the nickname that uh, Vinny gave him in the uh the yellow sleep lock that I unfortunately had to miss, which I'm really sad about, but you know what? You know what? It was still a fun time when I was able to be there. Uh, we have the potion, which is pretty clean as well. And then, for our rare, we have two cannon. Alright. Yo, look at how pissed he is. Like that? That man is gonna eat you for dinner. You try and hunt him? No, he's hunting you. So apparently the hollow, yeah, the hollow or the reverse hollow was the potion. And, uh, it looks pretty clean. I mean, for a potion, it's not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, we have two more packs here, and then I think that's it. Time is flying right now, my dudes. We're, we're getting through this quick. Uh, we're gonna do the Fates Collide next, though, because I kind of want to save the Incineroar, the Sun and Moon one, for last. So, I am gonna do three cards for this one, because that's what I was told, so we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, here's the code if you guys want it. If any of you guys need some Fates Collide... Pokemans for your deck. Alright, so we're gonna do three cards this time. Hopefully that worked. I really don't want to like accidentally reveal the rare too soon. Uh, so starting off here we have a Shinshino. So these cards are gonna be pretty much completely different from the Sun and Moon ones we've been opening up so far. We have a Shuckle. Yo, it's kind of bright. I'm sorry about that guys. Uh, we have the Fairy Garden. I lowered the exposure a little bit, but here we go. We have the Fairy Garden. We have the Larvitar. We have the bronze or come on focus please focus please thank you we have the Minchino nice and clean nice and clean we have snubble all right uh, we have deerling which I believe is that the hollow no that's not the hollow it's not the hollow uh, we have Shauna which is the hollow oh my god gotta get some Starbucks yes 
Shout out to the Pokemon Y, Egglock. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Look at that. Look at that. Shauna is here, my dudes. And then for the rare, we have a Grumpig. Alright, so those cards weren't, weren't anything too special. I'm really liking that Shauna card, though. Nice and Starbucks. Alright, but here we go. This right here is the final pack. The final pack, it all ends here. Now, obviously, this doesn't have to be the end. If you guys really enjoy these types of videos, I'll go out, I'll buy some more packs, and uh, we can keep on doing this, because honestly, I'm having fun, man. This is cool. This is honestly cool. Even if I know almost nothing about TCG, and please go easy on me, all right? To be fair, I have not done this in over a year, um, so I really, I really don't know much about, like, the new types of cards and all the different variants and it just it's crazy man they they've they've come so far when it comes to pokemon cards if i could just freaking open this pack it's about freaking time all right the pack's open here's the code if you guys want to go ahead and cop that real quick okay all right we're gonna do four for this one because this is sun and moon so i think doing three shuffles for the other one for the x and y one was the smart thing to do all right so there we go four and we have a grass energy let's go ahead and get this to focus we have, oh my god. I, I saw something. I saw something. I, ooh, I, I, it, it kind of reminds me of Kukui, dudes. It kind of reminds me of Kukui. Ah, I'm expecting some hype here. Now my expectations are through the roof. Like, if we don't get something cool, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, we have the Pokemon Catcher. We have the Golbat. We have the Sandy Gas. Shout out to my boy, Wendy's. We have Morlul. Uh, we have Fomantis. Alright, this card art is looking so sick right now. I'm loving the backgrounds. Surskit, eh, kind of a lame card, but you know, Surskit has to be there. Surskit is a necessary part of the Pokemon community. If it weren't for Surskit, I probably wouldn't be here today. We have Growlithe. For the Hollow, we have a Cloyster. I wish I could do the tongue roll, but I can't do it. Yo, look at how clean that art is. Bro, wait, hold up. Look at that. Look at that, my boy, Cloyster. So there's Cloyster, and then... <gasps> Bro, what is this? What is this? Wait, hold up, hold up. Can you guys read that? Primaria GX. I mean, I actually, I actually did hear about the GX cards. I'm not sure how rare they are. Yo, yo, this art is crazy. 250 HP. Bro, do you guys remember when like 50 HP was considered high? Oh my god, yo, will this please focus? Will this please focus? I really gotta fix the focus for next time, but look at how clean this card is. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's rare. I really don't. Let me know down below. I'm pretty sure the GX cards are like the the new EX, right? So it's kind of it's kind of like the EX cards, but just GX now. I'm not quite sure what that means in terms of the actual game. Uh, but this thing is clean, man. It has roaring seas. Uh, Bubble Beat, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon is what Roaring Sea does. And then Grand Echo GX, heal all damage from all of your Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. Okay, so these GX Pokemon are pretty special. Pretty special if I do say so myself. But that being said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Uh, honestly, this was a lot longer of a video than I expected it to be. But I guess when you're going through, I don't know, however many it was, like five packs, I guess it does take some time, and especially with me being new to this type of stuff, um, I, I, th I think it was pretty, pretty reasonable. But that being said, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead, hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys do want to see more of these videos, uh, let me know. Here are our, more, our most valuable uh, cards that we got today. We had the... Cloyster, which is looking pretty clean, or at least I'm assuming these are the most valuable. Uh, we have the Metabod, which I really, really like just because of Soul Link reasons. Uh, we had Professor Kukui. Look at this man. Look at this man. That has to be rare. I know. Th this has to be rare. Yeah, there's a little star down there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Um, that has to be rare. There, there's no way that is not rare. So we have Professor Kook with the full art. This man is looking nothing but power. Uh, we have Primaria GX as well. And then we have the Mimikyu one, which isn't quite rare, but it's pretty special because it goes with the pin that we had. But that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Tricky, 